What's up everybody? It's the Common Sense Investor coming at you with another video. In this video, I want to talk about Chancery Daily. Sent me a message on Twitter. Alright, and here it is. She says, during her live stream, if you were there, if you didn't, you should go watch it. During her live stream, they it didn't save the comments. And I figured out how to fix that setting for next time. So next time she does a live, she'll be able to see your comments after it's over, all right? But this time, it didn't save it. So what she's asking people to do is go to the video, which I've linked down below, all right? And if you were there and had a question and she didn't get a chance to answer it, she said, leave your questions there. And in her next live, she will address your questions. I think that's a wonderful idea. Every That should be every time. That gives her content. That knows what people need to know about, and she can share the answers with us. I think that's a wonderful idea. So go over to her channel, which is right now, Chancery Daily, all right? We did good. She had like 50-something subscribers, and now she's at 136, so that's good. Subscribe, like the video after you look at it. And then if you had a question, you put it down here. Now, I told my Discord, and during our discussion in the Discord, Little Green Candle says that she has been holding AMC. Let me see if she, yes, yeah, she said it, $12,000 share, $12, worth of AMC, and she still has her ape shares that she was given, all right? However, I received no postcard. And my objections are not being included, which brings me to feel I am not being included in this case at all, and I will not be compensated at all. However, I, I, since I've been in AMC since January 26, 2021, I feel I should be included. I am a shareholder. I didn't get my postcard as very confusing and makes me feel the court has no idea I even exist. Same for my sister and son. What do you suggest is the best course of action? Thank you, sign again for all that you do, are doing, and have done. Give her a thumbs up. Good job, little green candle. That needs to be addressed. All right. Now let me put my cigarette down a minute and let me go over here to this uh, docket. I'm going to put the Chancery link in the uh, video to her to her video if you had questions concerning what she had to say last night. And I'm going to put the link to the 740-page docket. Now, I'm going to show you a trick, all right? Um, I'm going to show you a trick on how to use this docket and find out if your name's in there, all right? What you do is you go to Control-F. And what's going to happen is a window's going to pop up, up at the top, like this. And you're going to type in your name. The name that you sent in your objection, in my case, it was Gunter. And they say that Gunter here is used twice in this document. So it, it looked in there and it found where I was mentioned. Now, if I click one of these arrows, I can go down to where it's at. They mentioned me right here. In Gunner objection, okay, and then they mentioned me a second time. It says when they mentioned my objection that I sent in. This is my objection, so I'm listed twice in this document. Now the next trick and probably the most important one is to go right here, where it's telling you in a black box what page you're on and how many pages the document is. You just click on the page number and say 550 and hit enter and it'll take you straight to where the list is now what Chancery Daily was talking about was that everybody is in a group alright according to the affidavit of Barry uh, exhibit 8 on June 8th they filed and said everybody was in these groups this begins on page 543. 
So you just punch in 543 or 544 right there, and boom, there's the first list. Objections with proof of ownership. Yes, they've opted out, okay, or requested to be opted out. And here's a list. If you requested to be opted out and you send in an objection and you send in proof of ownership, you are on this list starting on page 544. All right, and it goes on down. It's in alphabetical order in accordance to your first name. And you just go on down the list. And the next list is going to be start on 551. That's Exhibit B to Barry. Okay? And it's going to give you the list of objectors with proof of ownership that have not opted out. Now, I have not opted out and I've sent an objection and I've sent proof of ownership. So, that should mean I, my name is on this list. If you sent an objection and you sent proof of your ownership and you did not request to opt out, you will start on page 552 of the list and start looking alphabetically. Starts in, with your first name and go on down the list and see if you are on the list for objections with proof of ownership without opting out. That just means that they settle, I get the money. And there I am. I am an objector. All right? And I proved my ownership and I have not opted out. And if that's the same case with you, then start on page 551. And then they go on to the next list that they gave. The next list starts on page 587. Okay? And that's going to be people who sent in statements of support for the s settlement and you proved you had ownership. If you did that, then you would start on 587 to make sure your name is in the right category. All right? Statements of support with proof of ownership, page 587. Scroll down. It's in alphabetical order and according to your first name. And on and on it goes, people. She just wanted you to know this list existed and that you needed to know which list you were on. Now, I'm on the list of people who objected with proof of ownership. And I have not opted out. There's my name right there. She was just saying that you needed to make sure what list you was on. And if you need to, go back. Rewatch the video where I break down each list, and you can go straight to that page and start looking for your name. All right, so there you go, Chance. I did the video for you. I let everybody know your, your concerns. If you have any questions, go to her YouTube channel and leave a question in her comments is what she wanted you to know for today. And with that, love y'all. Be blessed. Have a great day.